I wanted to show you this new device. This is the BBC Microbit, which is the tiny single board computer that's going to be given to all the Year 11 children in the UK. And um, the Microbit's just become available, uh, so a lot of the stockists like Pimeroni and so on have have now got this in um, at least you can you can order it you can pre-order the device but you see um, what it consists of so it's a single board computer it's got uh, a, a connector row at the bottom here which is obviously intended for you to um, well here the, the big wide ones are for clipping uh, crop clips on so you can you know easily connect things if you're messing around and you want to test something at school. So there's the edge connector, there's this display which is a 5x5 five five array of LEDs, red LEDs. You've got two buttons which are called A and B either side and uh, it's got some quite neat stuff built in. So there's a, a Bluetooth chip built in so that has the promise of being able to connect to you know, iPads and phones and so forth. And down here you've got uh, electronic compass, an accelerometer built in. So basically the, the thing knows which way it's pointed and um, the accelerometer tells it if the device is falling or if, or if, or if you're shaking it or ev even if you kind of rock it in different directions, the accelerometer knows what's happening to the to the physical board. So there's a lot of really interesting things built in. Um, and uh, I'm running off a micro USB cable at the moment but you'll see also um, you, you have these three volt battery packs. You can plug it into a, a battery pack like so forth. Um, and then you know it's, it becomes almost like a wearable device, um, you know, that you could program to have some particular function and carry around with you. Um, there's a lot to say about this because they've really made something rather nice here, I think, and it's going to be really interesting for school kids to get their hands on this. Um, I'm just going to give you a quick look at the online programming system that they've built um, before going into it in more depth um, later on. So we're in the BBC website now so this is um, www.microbit.co.uk so this is where all the development tools are for uh, the microbit so they very cleverly hosted everything on an online site so um, basically all you need to do is log on to the site and you can see any scripts that you've written so that allows you to connect up from you know any different tablet or computer or mobile phone and you can always get to the things that you've already saved on the site and um, <clears throat> this particular language I'm using here the one called Touch Develop, which is from Microsoft. So you'll see it's got many features of a standard modern programming language. So it's got functions, so here there's just one function called main. It's got a, a while loop here which is widely used in different languages and you got uh, if then else which is like in in C or Java or, or um, other modern systems. So um, what I'm doing here, I've just written a simple program and what it does, it goes into this loop, this uh, while true loop, which means it goes round here forever and ever. And then every time it goes round the loop, it's checking if button A is pressed. So button A is the left hand button on the micro bit. And if the button is pressed, then it comes in here and it switches on some LEDs, just a little line on the left hand side of the display. Um, it's then going to wait for 200 milliseconds, that is, and then it's going to clear the screen. So, so basically it flashes the line whenever you 
press this button and then uh, at the end of the loop it waits a little bit so it's not when it's when buttons are not being pressed it's not charging round round and round like a mad thing but it actually has a little pause there and over on the right hand side here you can see there's a little simulator of the micro bit and this is quite neat because it means that a lot of the stuff you can actually test uh, on the website without downloading anything onto your micro bit so for example here um, if I press the A button on the simulator you see a little line of LEDs will light up on the simulator so um, so that's great. So a lot of the stuff that you can write here, you can test even before you download onto your micro bit. Now in terms of downloading to the micro bit, there are a couple of steps to this, but I can press this button here and do compile. And what that does is uh, it compiles the code up in the cloud there and then allows me to download the resulting compiled code. So if I look in my downloads here we've got micro button demo 2. So what I need to do is download that onto the micro bit. Um, right, so I plug in the micro bit into the computer and there's already a program running on the on the micro bit here. So what I'll do is I'll then I'll pop up the file explorer in Windows. Uh, right, so if I move this over here you can see um, the micro bit has actually come up on here as drive E and there are a few files visible inside the E drive um, which don't really concern me but what I need to do now is get this compiled code that I've written and drag it over to the drive so I'll just drive drop that over onto the drive E. And it downloads onto the micro bit. Now what the micro bit is doing is it's resetting. So now if I if I bring a micro bit up into into view here. Um, so now if I press the button A you'll see that the LEDs flash on. So this is my program now running in the micro bit. And basically um, I can I can put the battery pack on here so it can run standalone now. So I'll put that on there. And there you see my program is still running on there. So whenever I press the button A, the left hand line of LEDs comes on. So so basically now now that's been flashed with the program, that's all this micro bit will do. So every time I uh, put put the batteries in, or if I press the reset button on the back, every time it will now come up running that program. So so that's that's the basics of how we program and use the micro bit.